Hey everyone, in today's tutorial I'm going to explore about Spring Boot logging using AOP. AOP means Aspect Oriented Programming. Previously one of my tutorial I've covered that how we are going to log whatever the request is coming and whatever the response we are sending to the endpoint so that how we are going to log that one. So for that we have used some kind of the filter Spring Boot means we have generated our customized filter and all the things and then using those filter we have generated the log. Now someone asked me to generate the logging using the AOP. So that's why in this today's tutorial I'm going to cover that Spring Boot logging using AOP. AOP means I'm again, uh, saying again aspect oriented programming. Spring Boot make it easy to implement robust logging in your application. So here in this tutorial I'm going to step by step guide to you setting up logging using Spring Boot built in support for various logging framework. Aspect oriented programming in Spring Boot for logging can help you cleanly separate cross cutting concerns like logging from your business logic. This makes your code more modular and maintainable. For demonstrating this one, first of all we need to create one Spring Boot project that I have already created. If you are not aware of it, like how we are going to create that project, please go through one of my tutorial. I will already share the link in the description section. From there you can get understand that how you are going to create that Spring Boot project. So once you are create that project, you can import it in your favorite editor. I am using the Eclipse here and I have imported that project over here. So after importing that one over there means while you are creating that project actually basically so in the right section of the Spring Initializer we there is option to choose the dependencies. So for enabling this login actually AOP login we need to add the Spring AOP dependencies over here like this one this is Spring Boot Starter AOP it will enable to get the features of this AOP aspect oriented pro programming. So what dependencies I have used? I have used this starter web, starter AOP. So these are the main two dependencies that are needed. This is just to real time reloading, Lombok just to avoid the boilerplate code and this is for the writing the geomnit and all. So this is the dependencies wise and the project setting up. So next we are going to create the main, the important part of this project that is the logging aspect. Here basically we need to define defining the logging aspect here we are going to create a new class the name should be kind of logging aspect you can define any name over there there is a no limitation this class basically contains AOP logic for logging request and response and maybe some other logics so here first of all what we need to do we need to create one class over here let me create one class under this package we can create another package also over there also we can create that one but I am just creating that class over here right click then uh, provide the name that logic aspect okay so now for this particular class as this is the main class for writing all the things so we need to import the necessary libraries for get the feature of this aspect one so first we need to use the important libraries over here let's say let me import those things like this are this joint point proceeding joint point there are multiple annotation that's why we have using this star then logger logger factory that I am talking about later these are the different one but this joint point proceeding joint point and the some annotations so now if we talked about this joint point actually this is provide the reflective access to the state available at joint point like method execution now if we talked about this proceeding joint point this is basically extend this joint point and it is used to around advice to proceed with the next advice or target method invocation now under this annotation actually there are some 
things uh, like some classes over there like aspect point card before around after running after throwing so these are the annotations are there so that are basically used at the rate aspect annotation actually indicates that a class is an aspect it is a part of the AOP next is the at the rate point card so this point cut annotation actually declares the point cards where these advices are applied means whatever the advices we need to define so where those advices should be applied that should be uh, means covered by this point cut an annotations at the rate before indicates that a method advice that run before a join point at the rate around annotation indicates a method that is as by that run around join point means in between kind of after running obviously the name is already uh, using the name we can get the ideas that like after running annotation returning after returning annotation basically indicates that a method is an advice that runs after a join point completes normally and the after throwing annotation indicates a method is an advice that runs after a join point through an exception so this is the implementation here also in this class also we are going to use some kind of the general logging so for that we are going to use this slf 4g logger and the slf 4g logger factory okay and another things means as we need to use th this particular class as a spring boot so bin so for that at the rate component annotation is used right at the rate component to make this particular class that is a spring manage bin so that's why we need to make this particular class as component annotation else it will be not be treated as a spring boot uh, bin class right so that's why we need to particularly use this component under this class first of all we need to as i said we need to defining means annotate this particular class at the rate aspect and at the rate component next we need to initialize this logger actually so this particular logger as i said this will be coming from this slf 4j this logger factory and the logger okay next we need to defining the point cut expression that is basically used to define the join points a specific points in program execution where advice should be applied so that's why we need to defining the point cut over here okay so if you see over here this point cut under this point cut annotation we have defining this execution and here I am defining this packaging means under this package it will be actually applied and this method we need to and used for the every advice now we will use the before advice which will basically run before the join point matches match by the point cut expression so this advice basically lock the method entry point and the method arguments so let me add this before advice so here the before advice should be look like something like this so here if you see we have used this at the rate before and over here we have used this method means this point cut right and here using this entering the method it will print the signature and then what argument actually basically we are passing that arguments also it will be printed over here right next this uh, signature that I said this signature actually retrieve the method signature and arguments actually it's a multiple arguments retrieve the method arguments okay next is the around advice which will runs around the join point allowing us to control the execution and log the time taken by the particular method let's say in a service layer or in somewhere else we have different types of method maybe let's say we need to defining the entry time or the exit time means how much time this particular method is taken so that actually achieved by this at the rate around annotation so here let me add this around advice over here so here the similar kind of things at the rate around here we using this point cards and here this is the start time this is signature and this is the time taken okay okay this joint point dot proceed so here if you see this proceed actually with the next ad advice or the target method execution 
right and system dot current time millisecond actually capture the start and the end time to calculate the execution duration and that actually we are printing over here next after returning advice after returning advice as i said like this actually will be called it when it will be returned from the particular method like uh, after join point completes normally it's lock the method return value means suppose whatever the method particular method actually return something so that actually result it will print what is the return time from the particular method in case of any exception in case of any exception that is also we can cover by another annotations another aspect that is after throwing annotation if you see over here this is the signature and this is the exception so this is the actually overall thing that login aspect class uses the AOPs to provide detailed logging for method execution in a Spring Boot application it logs the method entry method exit method execution time and in case any exception thrown by the methods so this is about this logging aspect in next we are going to start this application so for that we need to write some kind of the service layer and the controller so that I'm going to do now if we want to implement logging in our application so for that we need to create one the simple service class where basically it will basically create or update a service class just to include some login within the method itself so that we can understand that some basic logging are also happening so this is the examples of the sample service where like we are having this process service method where we are passing some input and that input we are actually adding over here using this logger and after that we are just returning this result right and then accordingly we need to write one controller and from their controller actually we need to call this particular method this service method this process service method right so let me add this controller over here and here this is the process app api where we are just passing some request input actually and then actually it's just calling this particular method and whatever the response we are receiving from this particular service method it's just returning the value as a api response okay so this is actually overall the application is now ready now next what we are going to do we just need to start this application and from the browser we just need to hit this api and it will automatically log the all the things that whatever we are defining over here this advice this before advice around advice after returning after throwing so this log should be print while we are trying to call this particular api for starting this application we need to open this main application main class here we just need to click on right click and then run as java application it will take some time to start first time once it will start then we can from the browser we will just hit this controller means just we need to just call this api with this input ok so the application got started now just we need to clean the console so that once we will call this particular api it will be log the details so now from the browser i just need to call this api see if you see process sample input successfully so now if we open this if you see that all the things are coming over here right method execution start this is the sample controller process where we have just passes, passing this string parameter then entering the method and the argument is the sample input right method execution start this is the service method here also we are passing this request is the input processing input and the final this is the result then exiting this method and response whatever you are busy this is also is printed over here time taken by this service method time taken and this this is the exit method of this controller method and process this is the response and time taken by this process means it's print all the details over here now let's say if we try to input like uh, AOP logging means we have just changed the so if you see we have received the defined output over here 
now if we go to the console so here it's also request argument is this okay so it's actually print all the details over here with entry point exit point request whatever the argument it is what input is processing what is the final result and also time taken by the particular method like this method is time taken by this one millisecond this method is also one millisecond right so there's a two method one is the service method another one is the controller method so this is the thing that actually we are trying to cover over here so this is actually all about this uh, logging using this AOP aspect oriented programming using Spring Boot thank you for joining me on this journey through Spring Boot AOP logging tutorial if you found this tutorial helpful please consider liking the video sharing it with others who might get benefit and subscribing to my channel for more in-depth tutorials feel free to leave any questions feedback or suggestion in the comment below i love to hearing from you and i am always here to help you on your learning journey see you in my next videos bye bye